Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. Last time, we conquered Anorlando, defeated Ornstein and Smo, joined the Sun Prince's Covenant, and obtained the Lord Vessel. This episode, we're going to head back to Firelink. So something I honestly just learned is this room has a like an epic theme that plays when you sit in the room. I never notice that because I always get through that room so fast. Alright, so with the Lord Vessel, we unlock the ability to warp. We can warp to certain bonfires. Firelink is obviously Firelink. Sunlight Altar is over where the uh, Red Dragon was. And Orlando is over where the Firekeeper was. Dark Moon Tomb is um, underneath where Gwendolyn was. Daughter of Chaos was... Um, that's where... Um, What's her name? Um, um, Quailana, I think. Yeah, the Chaos Serving Covenant. That's where that is. Depths is in the little room. Undead Parish is um, Andre. And Painted World is the Painted World Bonfire. If you go here, I think you actually won't be able to teleport back out. So, like, you gotta run through and jump off again. Um, we're gonna go back to Firelink. Alright, back at Firelink. First things first. We are gonna go back to our Firekeeper's little jail cell and return her soul. And that brings her back. And if you talk to her... Thank you. I'm Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But, I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. Even in our moments of victory, this game is just so sad. But, with that being done, we have access to our bonfire again. And, look, Sigmar's here. Before we talk to him, let's level up a little bit. We're gonna go, we're gonna dump it all into Faith. Alright, Sigmar, what's up, dude? Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know... I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes, sir. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Ah, the miracle mid force. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> Sounds like he's going to go down to Blight Town. I wouldn't do it, buddy. But that's up to you. Amit Force is, um... If I can get it off my screen. I mean, you know what? Actually, real quick. Let's go over here and let's go get a talisman. Because... As we found out... Ah. Oh, you. Have you seen Milady? Oh, blast. Where might she be? And would she be safe? Yeah, I need a talisman, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me... Okay, uh... Talisman. I think that's better, but I don't have the souls right now. I just want a normal talisman. Alright, cool. So we have a talisman. Let's... We'll put it in our, our main hand. We don't have any real damaging. Can I still roll? Sick. Alright. Don't really have any main damaging um, miracles yet. But we can 
We'll use this for a little bit. We'll mess around with it. So, what you are supposed to do as of right now is go back to Frampt and give him the Lord Vessel. And you'll be taken to a little shrine and you'll put it in. You'll unlock the next portion of the game. We, however, have one mission that needs to be done. Our friend, the Crestfallen Soldier, Crestfallen Knight. I don't know exactly what it is. He doesn't have a real name. We're going to call him Mike. Mike traveled down below in a new Londo and lost his will. He said before that there was just an awful stench coming from new Londo. And I think in spirit of all the help he's given us, all the guidance he's given us, the purpose of this whole adventure, before we take on the next portion of our... Um, of our quest I think we owe it to him to avenge him so let's head down to New Londo and explore a little bit um actually let me do I have enough of the we're gonna run with it and hope that it's gonna be okay um I think I said it the first time that we ran in there you need transient curses to fight the ghost enemies that we're about to be encountering um I would like more than two. They do drop them, which is nice. Actually, let me. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna if I pop one. Will that double it. Okay, yeah, we'll run with that. Just get the item discovery up. Hopefully, at least some of these ghosts drop a um, a curse or two, just to make my life a little easier. I think there are a few curses actually in the area. But let's head back into the town of New Londo. And let me tell you, I know this place all too well. Um, prepping for this series, I made it a um, made it a task to go get every single weapon in the game. And as I will mention shortly, there's a weapon in here that's a little difficult to get. And yeah, I had to make a lot of runs. So, these ghosts, they drop... Oh, I gotta... You gotta use the transient curse that you heard him, Ricky. Alright. Now that we're cursed up. These ghosts drop the weapon, the Ghost Blade. It's a pretty rare occurrence. I, Yeah, I think it's one of the few weapons that you don't have to be transient cursed to, um, to hurt ghosts pretty cool it's not it's really not that good of a weapon it's really not that good of a weapon but um it's there it looks cool if you want to make a build out of it i mean like a little cosplay build definitely go for it ah perfect okay ricky is happy ricky is ready for this adventure so this room what i do is i go in i trigger the first ghost you want to kill that one there then, yeah, there we go. We want to spawn that one. What this area is really about is these ghosts are really easy to kill. As you can see, I just slaughtered four of them. Oh, oh, yay, more. Okay, we're good. We are set. Um, these ghosts are really weak, but they can go through walls. They can just easily surround you, easily gang up on you. They'll chip damage you all over the place. Like, I think up here we're going to get... Yeah, as you can see. You got to, like, hit the wall to hit them. There is the parrying dagger. This is intended to be used in your offhand. And basically, as the name implies, just parry a bunch of stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. If you ever play RuneScape, um, think of it as, like, a defender. So up here is one of the two enemies that dropped the next weapon that we're going to talk about. The Jagged Ghost Blade. This is, I believe, a 1% chance drop from these enemies. There are two of these enemies in the entire game. It is the only enemy that drops it. Um, I'm not sure the exact differences between the Jagged and the regular Ghost Blade. I'm assuming the Jagged just might, like, 
maybe it does bleed or maybe it's just more like dex focus or something I don't know you'll see in the little um, weapon showcase thing what the uh, actual differences are but yeah that weapon took a lot of um, farming it took me yeah, like 80 runs to get it which is it's it's about it's about where you're gonna get it at so we go in here and so you see there's a second one that's the second banshee in the game but that room is um, that room's a death trap as you can see it this place is just swarmed with ghosts Try to clear our map before we go in there, because as you can imagine, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh no. Come on. There we go. We don't want to get grabbed by that um that grab attack. Alright, so let's run in here. Let's try to get this going real quick. Okay, that wasn't bad. We are pretty strong for this area, our weapon is at least. This is kind of like a it's one of those split area. Ow. Ow. I'll be back for you guys. Is he gonna come up? Alright, cool. Up here. We have. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have. The Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. So, if you come here before you get the Lord Vessel, unfortunately, you, if you want that key, you're going to have to Hello kill there. him. The key to the seal. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But he can one. He is the guy who can um, break your curse if you get cursed by those little frogs. You can buy transient curses from him. You can also buy the uh, spell resist curse. Uh, no, we're not going to use that. New Londo Muppet. Um. So what he said about Artorius. Unfortunately, we're not finding Artorius. Um. We're not gonna. We're not doing that yet. No. 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 But we found his dog, and we. Um, I'm not. I don't want to talk about it. But we obtained a ring from his dog. And as you can see, the item description: traverse the abyss. It's where, like Artorius himself, can traverse the abyss. This is our key to fight the four kings. One of the four lords. Head back down. I think I need to re-pop the curse. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. I didn't even mean to hit that one, but cool. Alright, let's clear this place out. This place be kind of annoying. Okay, no, we want to go this way, I think. Yeah, go this way, and this way. And then we keep on running. We're probably going to trigger a few ghosts. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Goodbye, Mr. Ghost. Head over here and head over here. We can pick this up. Oh, hello, Mr. Ghost. Alright, so now we can go down here and go out here. Look at that. I didn't get lost. Pick that up. A green Titanite shard. I need you to come over here, sir. I thought that was a ghost for a second. I was like, why is he going so fast? Pick this up. Another soul. 
And I know I have a lot of soul items. I'm actually saving them up for something we're going to be doing here shortly. So we want to... Ooh, I almost just walked right off. I'm pretty sure there's an... Is there not another ghost here? I thought there was. Oh, well, that's a free humanity. We love humanities. So we're going to go here. We're going to take the jump. We're going to run over here. we got to grab this item. A rare ring of sacrifice. Always good to have a couple of those. I know I don't really use them, but very good to have. Let's just drop back down here. All right, and let's loop back around. And continue onward. Curse good. You kind of the curses last quite a bit. I'll put up on screen exactly how long they last. So you don't have to like worry, worry, but just kind of be mindful of it. But as we're here, let's open the floodgates. Twenty ten water effects. Ugh. Drinks. All right. So doing that, we've drained the water. Let's pull that. That'll come up. Is there anything? Up? I don't think there's anything up here. There might be something up here. I might be completely forgetting being dumb. Gee. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, the composite bow. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be grabbing those later. All right, let's head back down. Composite bow is pretty cool. Pretty sure it's just a kind of like a more dex-inclined bow, if I recall correctly. I want to see if I'm right. I want to see if I know my souls. Oh. <laughs> no, I was very wrong. Okay, well. That's a little embarrassing, but it's okay. So we head down here, and now we're at the bottom of the and it's pretty freaking terrifying down here. So if you look over there, we've uh, attracted a friend. This is a dark wraith. These guys are... These guys are nothing to laugh at because they are very strong and deadly. They're not that deadly, but they, yeah, they're pretty deadly. All right. Well, we knew it was going to happen sometime in this episode, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm actually going to cut back here because um, with the water drain, there's a different way I usually go about um, running back through this area. So if you come over here... You can walk off over here. And this kind of puts you in the middle of, um, of everything. This is dead zone. Don't go over there. You'll die. We want to... We want to go this way to get our souls back. So up here is a dark ray. Let's, let's back sap fish. Yeah, no shame in that. Lord Soul of a Proud Knight. There's another one. And you think this place wouldn't have a lie in it? It's pretty. That silhouette is pretty gruesome. I think that was a mistake. Ooh. Ooh, oh no. That's his dark hand. If you have any humanities in your counter, it'll suck a humanity out. 
can't block against it, so don't try. Just get out of the way. I believe they can actually drop the Dark Hand, too. I know they can also drop Titanite Chunks, which is pretty useful. Pretty good stuff. Titanite Chunks are always welcome. As we can see, Titanite Chunks are always welcome. Alright, let's head up here. We'll loot this. Okay, this room. Uh, we want to pop a transient. Kind of want to go in, go out. Cause we got a ghost spawn. And we got a dark ray spawn. Oh, oh no, my side. I don't think it was that many. It's fine. Ah, I'll be right back. <laughs> my parries don't even one hit. That makes me happy. All right, so let's pop another curse. Oh, hey. Yeah, you can just die now. Alright, now you're gonna run out. You're gonna run here. You're not... Oh, they both came. Oh, no. Okay, well, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. We're gonna try... Oh. Alright, let's heal up. Oh, that would have been nice to hit. That would have been nice to hit, too. Ooh, that should have hit me. Oh, God, he's right there. Away. They can backstab, I think. Uh, oh. Okay, well, this is a situation. I've got my... I think I'm dead. I'm not dead. I've been blessed. Oh, my God. Thank the Lord. All right, buddy. What's wrong? Your friend's dead. Ow, that's your foot. And that's a sword in your back. That's what you get. Never, never try to 2v1 me. Because I will usually lose. But when I do win... Well, I'm not going to do it right now, but I usually talk a lot of shit. Alright, so we go over here. Oh, God. oh that could have been really bad. see something. I thought I saw something. I don't know. Alright, that takes us back over here. Now, if you go that way, if you remember, that's actually where the ancient dragon was. <sighs> Should we get those items now? I don't want to fight these drakes. These drakes are annoying. I'll fight one of them. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Why, why did I try to parry? Why did I do that? Oh, boy. Okay, well. You know the drill. Alright, we are back and we are focused. First, we're going to take care of you. Get wrecked, son. Alright, now for these things. If I cast a miracle at Ashley. Oh, God, that just does a little bit of damage. That's cute. No, come back! Friend! You know, the fact that his buddies aren't like, oh, I wonder what he's doing. Oh, NPC aggression. Okay. Yeah, like I said, these things... These things are very dangerous, and they like to fight in packs. But he is... Bro. I am over here. I just want to get the items. Do I just make a suicide run? 
No, wait, he's coming. Friend, I swear to... Alright guys, well, like I said, my goal for this series was to die under 10 times. Obviously, I have surpassed that goal, like, bad. So, we're just going to go in for a death run. We're going to try to get these items real quick. If you have any value of your life, do not do this. There you get the, um, really think that's the hunt? Oh, yep, yep, and that's how you die, and there's one more. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god that was horrible okay well we'll be back in like two seconds to get the other item there and die again probably so i am so certain i'm about to die here that i literally just ran through like i got like a couple of dark hall or dark ridge chasing me all right so what we want to do is we want to run over here and get up this ladder good yeah we're good I don't think dark race can climb ladders he's climbing the I thought I saw him climbing the ladder all right and here we get the red tear stone ring oh my god <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd die if I go down there like if I try to plunge attack him So the red tear stone ring, what it, ooh. Okay. So the red tear stone ring, once you hit a certain HP threshold, I think it's 20%, you gain a massive power buff. Uh, very good for glass cannons. Very good if you're good at camping low HP. We're gonna, ch oh god, they see me. Oh god. They are, yep, nah, this is. Oh jeez, okay, yep, I was dead regardless. It's fine, it's okay though. We got what we came here for. And at this point, deaths are kind of meaningless. Alright, and now we are back in business. I thought I was about to clunk off that. Because <laughs> let me tell you something about Dark Souls. There's days where Dark Souls is with you, and there's days Dark Souls is against you today it feels like one of those it's against me day i am probably playing really stupid and really bad and i n nowhere near claim i am like one of the uh better people at this game i used to be pretty good but not anymore oh no okay that's rude just okay fine buddy i'll just oh now you want to swing please stop oh As I was saying, I nowhere near claim to be good at this game. <laughs> oh my god, why me? It's okay. Because if there's one thing this game has taught me, it's how to persevere. We're going to persevere through this, because trust me, what we were about to get is about to be game changing. Me and editing is going to have a field day watching all these deaths. Alright, so yeah. Like I was saying. Not doing too hot today. But it's okay. We're going to persevere. I put on the hornet ring. I'm one hitting them with backstabs. I am happy. I got another chunk. My luck is turning around. Let's head through this white fog. Okay, and I believe, is this the, yeah, okay, so one's gonna come, it's fine, just backstab, we're gonna go get this one over here, okay, yeah, the hornet ring was the way to go, alright, so now this thing is close, this thing throws slud or yells slud. I don't even know what it does. It spits sludge. Yeah, that's the proper term. It spits sludge at you. It has that little spear attack that I can wave around. 
it throws out the little skulls that you had to deal with out in um, um, the catacombs. So those are pretty annoying. Ugh, I don't miss that sound. But yeah, overall, those things aren't too hard to take care of. I believe there's another dark wraith hiding in one of these. Um, yeah, right here. Oh, God. <laughs> the camera. I blame that one on the camera. Uh, oh, I'm so sad. Hmm. Thought my luck was turning around. <laughs> and then the camera just wrecked me. Oh, Lord. I just want y'all to know right now the recording is 43 minutes as of this point. There's still a little bit I want to get done. There's a lot of deaths. <laughs> so, fun fact, the way we actually just came um, through is this corridor right over here. So we can just kind of pick off right where we ended. That's annoying. Oh god, okay. I'm starting to, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to backstab fishing these guys. I just can't parry today. But that's okay, because some days you're just not gonna be able to do what you're normally used to doing. And that's when we improvise and adapt and overcome and all that good stuff. That's a true key to success in life is just ad adaptation. If you can adapt to any situation, you'll never be in a bad situation. See? We're adapting and we're being rewarded. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Believe? I believe that's where we wanted to go. Move. Thank you. What the heck? Oh, wow. Okay, um, not gonna lie. I really didn't know about this one either. Wow, I never knew about this. That's so cute. Okay, well, we want to go this way and go up the stairs. Oh, not fall down the stairs. That's no bueno. We're going to go over here. Pick up that item. The soul of a brave warrior. We're going to run around here. Keep on going. We're going to go around here. Take a left here. Take another sharp left here. We're going to hug the wall over here. Think something at the end of this if you're nope nope you don't get rewarded sad face go up here though turn over here and you receive the very large ember we are going to Andre right now I thought, are you Blen? <laughs> All right, now that we're back at the parish, the bonfire warping is so nice. Let's head down to Andre. Well, I'll be. That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. How's about 
You leave that ember with me. I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. So, what that will do is that allows us to further ascend our weaponry. Let's ascend our claymore to 11. And upgrade to 12, 13, 14. And with the Titanite slab we got at the Undead Asylum, plus 15. Our claymore is maxed out. It is fully ready. Don't get yourself killed, knight. Thank you, Andre. It is fully ready for the task coming up. And I think on that note, after this long, grueling, <laughs> very, um, very poorly played episode, <laughs> we're going to end it off. We drained the water and explored the depths of New Londo. Found an ember and maxed out our claymore. We also saved the firekeeper, and now she can talk, which is pretty cool, but she still doesn't want to talk to us, because I guess she's just, she's so impure. But we're not going to worry about that. What we're going to worry about is the four kings our friend Ingward told us about. Next episode, we take them on. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.